I don't care if someone's like, oh, she's not cute without her makeup on. I don't give a fuck. I think I look good, baby. And can't nobody tell me I don't. Period. So what is going on, you guys? My name is Chastity. If it's your first time watching, make sure you subscribe because you don't want to miss me. So today's video, I'll be showing you guys my um, morning time skincare routine. I did not show what cleanser I use, but I did use the Tatcha Rice Wash. Um, I absolutely love that cleanser, especially for the morning time. That's one of my top three cleansers. I'll be having a video telling you guys about all my favorite skincare products and why I like to use them but th this video is just going to be more so morning time skincare routine I do have dry skin um dry skin I thought my skin was oily but it's not I I have dry skin so these are some of the products that I use to make sure that my skin stays hydrated all throughout the day because the thing about it is is after you get done with your skincare routine if you don't look like you dipped your head in oil your face in oil you ain't doing it right and I hope that if you have dry skin that you take some of these now this isn't everything in depth of what I use okay this is just like a quick morning time I need to hydrate my skin routine if that makes sense so I'm all about the dewy look I like dewy dewy is my thing and I absolutely love it so um, make sure you subscribe to this video give it two thumbs up and I will see you all in my next one bye what's going on you guys let's get started with our skincare so first just go ahead and pull your hair back you don't want no hair on your face while you're doing your skincare you just want bare face now I'm gonna go with my Laneige lip sleeping mask it is a lip sleeping mask but sometimes I use it during the day as well it definitely does hydrate the lips and get the lips replenished to how they need to be okay so now I'm going in with my youth beauty Pure Hyaluronic Acid is a brand from Amazon. Um, links will be down below. But I go in and I put that all on my face because I have dry skin. And we want to retain that natural moisture that the skin has in Hyaluronic Acid. It's going to help you do that and get your skin feeling moisturized because my skin is so freaking dry. So now I'm going to my Vitamin C, Vitamin E Serum. It's like a hyaluronic acid as well. But the Vitamin C is going to help brighten up the skin, even out the skin tone as well, and help with those dark spots. Vitamin C definitely does help with that. And this isn't my usual go-to one, but I just like to do this when I'm just doing a quick something because I usually use the Ule Henriksen Vitamin C Serum, but we're not using that today because we're using this. So now I'm going with my eye cream. Now I'm using the Sephora Brightening Eye Cream. I usually don't use this one, but I bought this and I wanted to see how it was and try it out. So I'm going to try it out for a couple weeks and see what it does and see if I like it and go from there. So now after that, we're going to go in with our Glow Recipe Nice and My Dew Drops. This is definitely helping with the moisture. When I tell you, I need a lot of moisture in my skin because I lack it so much. And it smells like watermelon. I absolutely love Glow Recipe. It's one of my favorite brands, actually. Um, so we're just putting that all on the skin. You see how the skin's starting to look hydrated? It's giving. So now we're going in our Polypeptide 121 Future Cream from Youth to the People. This is my Holy Grail favorite moisturizer. No moisturizer has topped this one the way that I use this one is crazy. I use this one religiously. Like, it's my go-to. I have two of them because I love it so much. So after we all moisturized in and got that, we're going to go in with our Collagen eye gel so I use mine from Marie and I absolutely love these eye gels they are so 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 soft and the good thing about it is, is I see a difference as soon as I take them off and while they're on I can feel the hydration on my skin I can feel the brightening of my skin and it just feels so great so then I just go in close that put it in the garbage and I just pat in the extra product in my eyes and I absolutely love it this is day three of me using it and I love it. So now I'm going to go in with my Tatcha Luminous Dew Mist. Dewy Mist. And I go spray that all on the face. As you can see, it's giving hydration because, like I said, we lack hydration. And then I go in with my Clean Skin Reverse Blend Fragrance. And we put that on. And we get ready to start our day. And that is our skincare routine. So let's get this together. My skin is not perfect. I have days where... I have acne breakouts. I have days where my skin feels really dry. I have dry skin. I have days where I have hormonal breakouts, which I'm going through right now. 
um and i have days where my hyperpigmentation is just very very terrible and i have days where my under eyes are just so look like raccoon eyes but you have to be comfortable with yourself you have to work on your skin if there's something that you don't like go to your lo local sephora go to your local dermatologist walgreens something look on youtube look at products that you can use to make your skin better the thing about it is is everyone has become so it's become so normal to not be yourself it's become so normal to throw a filter on when you're feeling insecure but embrace who you are because who you are is who you are and you wouldn't be you if you weren't you so embrace you i have breakouts all in my face right now because i'm stressed and i have very high hormonal acne right now and it's these areas right here up in here and in my chin but guess what I'm still gonna go about my day and I'm still gonna embrace me even at my lowest because even at my lowest I'm still me and even at my highest I'm still me so embrace you be happy with your skin and get your skin together so you can feel confident about your skin because if you if you always want like that when your face is on the screen or you got to put a filter wrong maybe work on yourself get your skin up to par so you can just post i don't care who be like i don't care if someone's like oh she's not cute without her makeup on i don't give a fuck i think i look good baby and can't nobody tell me i don't period i'm confident in myself and the way i look but i ain't don't get it twisted i ain't going out to no bar with no bare face like if i'm out in public and i'm going to an event baby we beat to the gods but be comfortable with your skin and who you are so many people are and it's still easier said than done because there's days where i don't feel comfortable but I know that I still love me and I know what I look like. Because one thing about it, you stuck with your face for the rest of your life. You better get used to it. Because you ain't going to get another one. Unless you're the Kardashians and you get surgery. But we're not. That's not even here. And that's not even there. So, love you. Love your skin. And be who you are unapologetically. Did I say that right? Be who you are unapologetically. If that's how you say it the list be listening okay but thank you guys I just wanted to say that at the end of this video so I will see you all in my next one bye